What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to add a fade transition to a video project in DaVinci Resolve 16. To insert the video files which you wish to add the fade cut to, simply go to File, Import File and Import Media and select the files that you wish to use from your file explorer. I now have two mp4 files inside my media pool here. I'm going to drag the first one down to my edit timeline, which will be the mountains video clip. Left click, hold the mouse button down and drag this to the beginning of your timeline at the zero second mark. Let go of the left mouse button once the edit is in place. I'm now going to return to my media pool and left click to select the second video and drag this down to the timeline after the first video clip. Using my forward button here on my edit interface, the red indicator is currently at the zero second mark, right at the start of the first video clip. If I left click this button once, the red indicator has gone to the end of this first video clip and the timeline indicates that this particular clip plays for five seconds. My aim in this project is to create a transition where the mountains fades to the fireworks in one second, both visually and through the audio, so that the fireworks clip gradually appears over a certain time period rather than appearing instantly on screen. In order to go back to the beginning of the final second in my mountains clip here on my timeline, with my red indicator between both clips on my timeline here, I'm going to hold K on my keyboard and tap J to move my red indicator to the left. If the red indicator doesn't move when you are pressing the keys, simply left click on it once to enable the red indicator to register the keystrokes that you make. We are now at the four second mark where I want my transition to begin. I'm going to left click on the blade edit mode and make a trim at this particular section here. Left click. If I use my mouse with the selection mode again once more, if I now left click on the blue edit of my mountains video and drag this up one, you can see that the visual content for the mountains video has been moved up to video track two, whilst the audio for the mountains video has been moved down to audio track two. The fireworks content will stay in video and audio tracks number one. With the selection mode tool still selected, I'm going to left click once on the fireworks edit. Hold my mouse button down and drag this to the left so that the content of the fireworks clip will commence at the point where the mountains clip starts to fade away. I'm going to select my indicator and drag this to the end of my mountains clip. Using the blade edit mode once more, I'm going to trim this particular section of the fireworks clip so that I can now add transitional effects to these four sections on my timeline. At the four second mark, we want the mountains to be completely visible and opaque on screen. If I make sure that the mountains edit is selected like so with a red outline, underneath inspector in video, underneath composite, you should see opacity set to 100. Alongside the opacity number is a diamond shape which indicates a keyframe application. Left click on this once and this should turn to red. I also wish for the sound to fade as the mountain clip comes to an end. Therefore, if I left click on audio, underneath clip volume, the number should be zero, which is the default normal value for an audio level in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to left click on the keyframe diamond shape here as well, so that this is red and the audio level will be normal at this particular point. I'm now going to drag my red indicator to the end of this mountain clip to the five second mark. By this point, the mountains clip should have faded to the fireworks scene. In order to apply the fade effect, I need to add another keyframe here underneath video in inspector by left clicking once on the diamond icon next to opacity. And this time, rather than having the full image opaque, I'm going to left click and drag the cursor to the left to make the visual medium transparent. 
you can double left click and type in zero yourself manually press enter when you're done now go to audio and to apply a similar effect where the sound fades I'm going to left click on the diamond shape once more next to volume and reduce this level to minus 100 which should mute the clip and make the fireworks clip audible staying on the audio settings I'm now going to left click on the short edits for the fireworks clip in between the two mountain segments what I want is for the sound of the fireworks to become louder and clearer as the mountains disappears so that at the five second mark the volume level of the fireworks clip should be normal so at the start of this transitional period at the four second mark I'm going to left click on the diamond icon next to volume for the fireworks clip with this red I'm going to reduce the volume to minus 100 now drag the red indicator to the right to the five second mark and I will basically apply the opposite effect that I made to my mountains clip where here I will insert a keyframe where the volume of the fireworks clip will be normal I'm going to type in zero as the value here press enter Thank you very much for watching i hope that video was useful to you if you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel please like and subscribe join me soon for another video take care